Fresh off their improbable run in the 2012 ACC tournament, the Jackets hit the practice field Wednesday in preparation for their next challenge, the NCAA tournament. The Yellow Jackets enter having won five straight, capped off with an 8-5 victory over Miami on Sunday to capture the program's eighth ACC title and the first time in ACC tourney play, an eighth seed has been crowned champions. Their reward? A trip to the Gainesville Regional, which houses the number one overall team in the country, the Florida Gators. The Jackets see it as fitting. Well, I've said all year we, we haven't done anything easy all year, um, and, and certainly injuries played a big part of that, but we, you know, seemed like we found a way to overcome that and make the ACC tournament, then we found a way to win the ACC tournament. Now, you know, I, I, now we got another huge mountain to climb. Tough season, all, I mean, all, all season long, we kind of picked up there at the end, but uh, I think it's, it's, it's definitely fitting for us. We're, uh, I mean, we're going down there. I mean, kind of hot team, which I think I think it kind of helps out a lot. Um, we're gonna go down there and battle ourselves I and mean, just try as hard as we can, have fun, just like we've been doing in the regional or in uh, Greensboro. The Jackets head into their Friday matchup with the College of Charleston swinging a hot bat, led by Louisville Slugger National Player of the Week and ACC Tournament MVP Jake Davies, who talked about his recent success. Oh yeah, I mean, I've just been seeing the ball well, playing hard, and you know, getting comfortable up there. You know, early on in the season, I was you know a little jumpy at the ball, and you know, doing things I shouldn't have. You know, thinking of things a little bit differently than what I've been thinking of lately when I'm at bat. You know, taking different approaches and things like that. But uh, I'm just seeing the ball well. You know, the you know, other guys are hitting behind me, so it makes it a lot easier for me. So I'm more comfortable in the box. He's he's been unreal. He, uh, I mean, he he said it himself. He it was kind of his last hoorah up there, and. Uh, he was going to get everything he had, and he definitely did. And uh, it, I mean, he, he was unreal. It was fun to watch. Freshman Cole Pitts will take the mound in game one, a decision that was easy to come by for Coach Danny Hall. Uh, we had a pretty heated debate amongst our, uh, amongst our staff. And, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, you know, I guess I made the executive decision that that was kind of the way we were going to go. But before I announced it to the team, the guy that kind of has the pulse of our team a lot is our strength coach, Steve Tambora. So I kind of ran the scenarios by him, and he goes, oh, he goes, the players have already talked about it. They want to pitch pits on Friday. And <laughs> so I'm like, well, I guess I, I made the right decision. Georgia Tech hopes to keep the positive aura around this team, or superstitions, as they say in sports, any way that they can for their upcoming games in hopes of making another deep tournament run. No, I mean, not really, but, uh, you know, I, I keep the Mohawk because it's just a personal thing. I have the Mohawk, and then uh, we usually, we, we, done, we, did a, we started doing a 9.30 meeting at the ACC tournament just to, you know, go over, like, logistics, what time we were waking up and things like that. We won the first game, we were like, oh, well, let's do it again. Won the next game, well, why not just keep doing it, and hopefully it works for the next few games, and, you know, maybe we'll have a meeting at 9.30 when we get down to uh, Gainesville tomorrow. <laughs> Nomar's been around us three times this year, and we, uh, we beat NC State on Friday when he was there for a while. Uh, we beat North Carolina in the second game of a doubleheader on Saturday to uh, win that series when he was there. And then we uh, beat Miami in the championship game. So I wish I could figure out a way to get him in our dugout about every uh, time we play. But, uh, you know, Nomar's a great guy. Jay Payton's a great guy. They both are kind of launching careers at ESPN, but two pretty good players. You can follow all of the tournament action beginning on Friday at 1 p.m. on ESPN3. And check back to ramblinrec.com for all of the updates.